We are on a journey or a trek, you might say, to watch every single piece of Star Trek media that exists, except for Star Trek Continues. But today, we're watching Star Trek The Next Generation. <laughs> I haven't made a joke in a while. Episode 8, and uh, coming off a Deadly Year sequel, I'm curious, uh, well not really a sequel, I'm curious what we have for lucky number 8. I just want Riker to do something. <laughs> I know, he just stands there. <laughs> I mean, especially the last episode, he had some lines or whatever, but like literally stood there in the background. Uh, if it doesn't happen this episode, whatever, but yeah, uh, that's really all I'm looking for. But yeah, ready to jump in. We are approaching Starbase 179, sir. Half impulse, Mr. Crusher. Riker in the chair. Enterprise, this is Starbase 179. We are ready for transfer on your mark. Thank you. Commander Data, you have the bridge. Ensign Crusher, you're with me. Ensign Crusher with him? Okay. I just love that. No big deal to Data, just in the captain's chair. Just, hmm, all right. He, he was in the chair at the beginning of the last episode. Mm -hmm. Starbase 179, we are ready to commence transfer. Acknowledge, Enterprise. Begin transfer. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Welcome aboard the Enterprise. Those of you who are here as replacements can step outside and follow Lieutenant Lewis. He will assign you to your crew quarters. Oh, what? Mordok, what are you doing here? You couldn't have graduated the academy already. I am not Mordok. I am Mendon. What? Oh, uh, okay. I'm glad they acknowledged that everyone would think it's Mordok yeah. and that it's not, so that we don't feel dumb or anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, what? This is some holodeck training? I was wondering if you had any feelings about the officer exchange program initiated by Starfleet Command. Just positive one, sir. I like that stance Picard has going on. <laughs> it's been suggested that an officer from the Enterprise might participate in the program. That's probably a good idea. Well, there is a Klingon vessel in the area. I might be interested, sir. Damn. Sorry, number one, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> he definitely heard him. <laughs> any particular reason? Because nobody's ever done it before. Okay. We asked for it. We'll inform Starbase of your acceptance. They'll contact the Klingon vessel and make the arrangements. That was an awesome scene, by the way. Just phaser training. I think that entire opening was great. It was not, I mean, not the biggest hook. I mean, like, the idea of Riker serving on a Klingon ship. I mean, yeah. from my person, you know, it just sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> it's my understanding that one of the duties of the first officer of the Klingon vessel is to assassinate his captain? Yes, sir. <laughs> when and if the captain becomes weak or unable to perform, it is expected that his honorable retirement should be assisted by his first. The Klingon system has operated successfully for centuries. It is different. Many things will be different. That's kind of cool, though. Like, first officer or captain must always be on the watch because his, his uh, subordinate might try to kill him. That's a wonderful method of maintaining a constant control factor over defensive shield. We've seen this guy before, too, somewhere. Mm -hmm. Security geek. Of course, a minor change of the helm readout would be much more helpful in emergency situations. We've never had any problems with it. It would be more than a marginal improvement. I'll have to mention this to the captain. Never known the captain not to listen to one of his officers. Outstanding. Soon we'll get things running perfectly. All right, this guy's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just slowly, you know, establishing that there's something, you know, a little weird. What is that? It's a Klingon delicacy. Hippias claw. Oh God. He's practicing. This, of course, is Gog. <laughs> Gog? Yes, yeah, serpent worms. Would you like some? No, thanks. Send forward? Yeah. I'm familiar with the practice of the feast before the transfer. I've done it dozens of times. However, I usually made more palatable choices. These are the more palatable choices. Ah, thank you. Hmm. <laughs> we know so little about them. There really is so much to learn. I respect Riker for just going in gung-ho. Yeah. I envy you, Mr. Riker. Oh. <laughs> More. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh. 
He's doing a good job making it look somewhat edible. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, just having Riker do all these ridiculous things, you know, the tar pit, the electric, and now eating, you know, a bunch of garbage. An emergency transponder? Slightly altered to transmit an omnidirectional signal and an emergency call. You suspect trouble? Simply a security precaution. I want to ensure your return to this ship. Sentiment, Lieutenant Worf. Efficiency, Commander. I understand. Thank you. That was nice. Yeah. That was nice. Plus, he's probably just slightly more worried than everybody else because he knows slightly a little bit more, you know, about Klingons. Mm -hmm. This is Captain Cargan of the Klingon vessel, the Far. Beam your first officer on board immediately. We are preparing to do so. You're getting a fine officer. Thank you for your opinion. But I will judge that for myself. Screen off. I know things are peaceful now, but I'd still be, you know, terrified. Not very hospitable, are they? Oh. That is not your concern. Observe your station, Ensign Menden. Didn't mean to offend you. You didn't. Yet. Gotta put him in his place. Mm. Transporter, prepare to beam Commander Riker aboard the path. Acknowledged, Captain. Mr. Data, you have the bridge. Aye, sir. I like that shot. That too, was great, that, yeah, that yeah. Too. Everything from that perspective, yeah. What do you think this is? Don't know. I wouldn't want to go. Why? <laughs> You're not afraid, are you? No, I'm not. I would be. Oh, ready, sir. Thanks. Energize. Let's go, O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. Resume course, Mr. Crusher. Aye, sir. Take over, Commander Data. I'll be in observation. Thank you, sir. That really feels like TOS with something, someone different in those chairs every time. <laughs> if you have a few God. minutes, I've noted a few procedural changes which might speed up operations on the bridge. I pick things up very fast. <laughs> Worf is not having it. Here on the Enterprise, we use the chain of command. You will report your observations to Lieutenant Worf. Now Worf's going to be pissed. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> Come here, buddy. <laughs> you may impress me. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> I still don't know if there's any ill intent on this uh, Menton guy. Or if he's just like a try-hard, know-it-all student, you know? Yeah. Oh, look how, yeah, inside the cleanup yeah, ship. Here great. we go. I've never seen anyone of your species before. I'm just your average everyday human being who happens to be a commander. Now, what were your orders? To escort you to the captain. Proceed. Yes, commander. <laughs> we Klingons like not being able to see what we're doing. <laughs> This is your second officer, Lieutenant Clack. Is there something you wanted to say to me, Lieutenant? <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy who would try to kill him. Oh, that's right. I do not believe you. Then I take it you challenge my authority over you. Correct. And your position on this, Captain? I would say it is your first command decision. Oh! Snap, <laughs> but you know what? They're probably gonna respect the shit out of him yep. for this. <laughs> yeah. Your only concern is with how you obey my orders. Or do you prefer the rank of prisoner to that of lieutenant? I will take your orders. And you, Commander Riker, obey my orders. Of course, Captain Cargon. All right, you don't got to do the scrunch face the whole time. <laughs> that's kind of weird. <laughs> what, the guy in the bed? Yeah, just like... I think that's his makeup. He's like, you obey my orders. That was a great scene. Though. That was. What if Riker just went, now you. <laughs> 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 yeah. I was told I could kill you. <laughs> The substance appears to be a rare form of subatomic bacteria capable of doubling itself in size every 15 minutes. Oh, well, there you go. It seems to be reacting. I noticed it when I did an intensive scan of the PAH, the Klingon ship. Whom did you inform? 
No one. I have not yet completed my full analysis. You're supposed to report whatever is out of the ordinary. And I think that falls into this category. It would be improper to report it until then. How did you come to that decision? It is a Benzite regulation. No officer on the deck of one of our ships would report an occurrence like this until he had a full analysis and a resolution. Card's like, why'd we sign up for this? <laughs> it is our procedure, Ensign, to notify command of any possible danger to the ship. The decision is not yours. I do like the juxtaposition of him doing things by his way, mm -hmm. but Riker immediately adjusting mm -hmm. to the Klingon way. I want to know everything about it as quickly as possible. Commander Data, supervise. Aye, sir. And where is this thing that he looked? He was on the Klingon ship. He was on the Klingon ship. Okay. And then I will instruct you in Enterprise etiquette. Oh, I thought Data was going to go shit talk too, but now he just went over there. Hey, listen. <laughs> it's, <crazy. laughs> it's like uncharacteristic. Yeah. Is that a female Klingon? <laughs> yeah, a couple of them, I think. Then you'll also enjoy this. Isn't that gah? <laughs> it's still alive. Still moving. Gah is always best when served live. If Klingon food is too strong for you, perhaps we could get one of the females to breastfeed you. <laughs> Remember when I kicked your ass earlier? <laughs> you may live long enough to learn about us. Mm, he is not very attractive. Damn. They are inquisitive. They would like to know how you would endure. Endure what? Them. <laughs> One or both? <laughs> <laughs> I may be back for you. <laughs> and my father was killed in battle at Tronum Saw. And your father? My father. My father was captured in battle by Romulans and not allowed to die. Oh boy. He eventually escaped. He is on our planet. He waits for his death. Ain't no Klingons don't want to go out like that. Mm -hmm. Klingons do not express feeling the way you do. Perhaps you should. We would not know how. Yesterday I did not know how to eat gach. That was all great. This is amazing. It seems like the Romulans and Klingons have more beef than either of them with uh, the Federation, you yeah. know? Yeah. Like, damn, Worf getting his family killed by him, this guy's dad. It's like, it seems like they're beating, beating each other up all the time. I want to see a little more of that beef going on. Yeah. I mean, I don't think we've ever on screen seen them both at the same time, have we? I'm trying to think. No, no. And now I'm curious, like, are the Klingons aware of this thing, this bacteria? Probably not the bacteria, but they're, they got to be aware of whatever this living thing is on there. Tell me, Commander Riker, what do you make of this? Oh, there you oh, go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the Enterprise did conduct an extensive scan of this vessel. That's normal procedure. But my logs indicate that the Enterprise directed an intense scanning beam at this specific area. Explain that. I can't. It could be a weapon. Menden, or whatever his name is. Yeah. What do you intend to do, Captain? Intend? There's only one response. I intend to attack the Enterprise and destroy it. No! Just like that, bridge burned. Ugh. Riker went through all that, and who ruined it? Mordok's brother. Well, I mean, since the Enterprise didn't cause it, though, they still would be in trouble in that situation of this bacteria eating their ships, so I don't know. Yeah, but that two-minute scan has to be that entire thing of Menden doing his entire, you know, 
mm -hmm. thing, right? It's like, yeah. should have told us earlier. But hopefully they'll be able to come up with a solution and then tell the Cleons like, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. Hey everyone, sorry for interrupting the video. There's just something I had to say. Uh, over the last few weeks, I've been tricking Alex into doing something and it's really not fair to him, so. Oh, hey, hey, no, hey, it's all right. You don't have to, it's okay. No, no, I, I have to do this. I need to apologize because I've been tricking Alex into doing something he doesn't want to do and that's not right. I'm, Alex, you, you can tell him what I've been doing. Oh, okay. Uh, so basically Josh has been setting up all these little scenarios and tricks, like showing me fake YouTube comments that say, Hey, great stuff. Make sure to like the video. And I don't like doing that stuff. And the fact that he would set up some... Oh, you son of a bitch. I'm not convinced Riker knew of any plot against us. If he did, why would he have come on board? Thank you. This expectation of any officer to be ordered to die at any time. Or a Klingon, perhaps. The Riker's people do not volunteer for death so easily. You may be a spy, but he's no coward. Here we go. That only proves that he's intelligent, and you might not be as strong as you used to be. Well, I'm glad they picked up some respect for him. You almost had me believing this was a misunderstanding. But the Enterprise has changed course and is following us! Put the ship on full battle alert. Arm all photon torpedoes. Let them charge into their destruction! <sighs> Don't throw away the peace. Come on, man. With the Klingon vessel now. Slow to impulse. Aye, sir. Impulse speed. Hailing frequencies are open. Because there is peace between the Federation and Klingons, right? So it makes me wonder, yeah. like, how many of these rebel or, like, possible re re rebel Klingon ships could be out there? Because not all of them could be so, like, yeah, we're fine with the Federation now. You know well, I, mean? I don't even think they're rebels. I think they're just, like, like that's the Klingon like, way. Not rebels, but how many are, like, that close to, like, like the ship going, like, ah! You know Probably I mean? all of them. Yeah. <laughs> I will obey your orders. I will serve this ship as first officer. And in an attack against the Enterprise... I will die with this crew. But I will not break my oath of loyalty to Starfleet. If you had told those secrets about the Enterprise, I would have labeled you a traitor and killed you where you stood. <laughs> but instead, you will die with us. You will die like a Klingon. Damn. That was great. Oh, man. <laughs> Shit, man. Good stuff. All right, Mendon, are you going to redeem yourself or mess up even more? Let's see. <laughs> I've managed to isolate the organisms on our hull. They are a submicron form capable of breaking nuclear bonds in the tritanium plating. They are controllable and can be removed from the hulls of both ships by using a tunneling neutrino beam. So it's on both ships. I told you they're here to help. I do not believe them. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You had a great scene with Riker where it's like, you know, honorable. It's like, I trust you, but not that. Uh. He would rather die than take the L. <laughs> You'll get only one shot. We'll only need one. Stand by on phases and torpedoes. Prepare to fire them simultaneously. Jeez. I recommend. I recommend... You don't fire until you're within 40,000 kilometers. It will cut down their response time. You are honoring your promise to serve us, but you do less. You will give the order to fire Commander Riker. Oh, oh. come on, dude. He's trying. Oh. In my opinion, your reason for forcing this confrontation is not valid. So I'm going to challenge you for captain. Are you finished? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, the whole thing about what Worf told him earlier, right? Is that a weapon, Commander? No, sir. Give it to me. I was hoping he wasn't going to have to use that. Wasn't going to have to use it? Yeah. Like, he just gave it to him for that nice little scene? Yeah, where yeah. it's like, but no, like, you know what I mean? Like, you wouldn't have to use that. We have to know what's going on. Commander Riker is the only one who can tell us. We'll beam him directly here onto the bridge. On my command. Yes, sir. I'll wait till 40,000. Oh, that's when he told them to wait. Mm. Steady. Transporter room, energize. 
because he was holding the thing. Oh, that's right. Hold where you are, Clack. I relieved Captain Cargon. He was acting in an irrational manner. I'm your captain now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Klingon Captain Riker. Look at me. I'm the captain now. <laughs> where am I? You're on board the Starship Enterprise. Riker has no honor. He tricked me! Oh! I mean, this guy was bound to die. Yeah. I don't think that was a deadly shot. But oh, so, so, he's only so, dazed, sir. Yeah. Yeah, because they didn't expect that. True. I'm glad Worf was the one that shot him, though. Obey my orders. We will be destroyed. If we are, it will be in battle, and I will die with you. It has all armament locked on us and ready to fire. Hold this position. Hailing frequencies. Calling the park. This is the Enterprise. We are here to assist. Do not fire. <laughs> See him in the background. Enterprise. Back. Told your ass. This is Captain William Riker of the Klingon vessel. <laughs> I order you to lower your shields and surrender. Lower shields. Surrender as ordered. <laughs> he, know, he knows what's going on. Yeah. I command to be beamed back aboard my vessel! Transporter chief, prepare to beam Captain Cargan back aboard the PAH. Captain Riker, we can carry out your repairs immediately. Thank you, Captain Picard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. You should have killed me. I don't know what's your command. But you tricked me to get it. Either way, you can have it back. Then return to your station. Get him off my ship. Yes, Captain! You understand the Klingons better than I thought. Commander. Thank you, my friend. Oh. Because he had to let the captain show that for you know, show yes. the force. Yes. So how'd it go? <laughs> Actually I learned quite a bit. Apparently not when to duck. When not to duck would be more accurate. Your little toy worked, thanks. I'm glad it did. You come from a very brave and unique people. Glad you're with us on the Enterprise. Thank you, Commander. And welcome home. All right. Well, that's how you do a space <laughs> battle episode, man. <laughs> yes. That's how you do it. Uh, it might be a little early, but uh, kind of funny how both season one and possibly season two, top five, heavily involving a Klingon episode. Because oh, that, yeah. that was fire, if okay. I've ever seen it. And we've been asking for it. We've been like, give Riker something to do, for God's sake. And the Star Trek gods answered us, even though this show has been out <laughs> since late 80s. Yeah, yeah. But they did it, finally. And holy shit. It, oh, I have very, I, I can't even think of a complaint right now. I, I love this episode. Yeah, uh, yeah. part of me feels like, it's like, oh my God, did I manifest this? Even though, <laughs> even though the show has existed for decades, it's like, I just happened to say that right before, because in the last episode, he did literally nothing, you know? So, yeah. just coincidence. Uh, but that's great. I'm glad that that's going to make the cut now, me asking for that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, you're right. Both Klingon episodes have been absolute bangers. I mean, the Klingon episode last season was my favorite of the season, and I would be su wouldn't be surprised if this ends up being. Obviously, I hope we get a lot more great episodes this season. We're still a little bit early, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I loved this one. I'm really excited to jump into the discussion, um, and this is why you need to have episodes, you know, for these side characters on the ship. That's why they work so well. It was one of those episodes where it's so good, I don't even know like what to point out as like the thing I really liked, because I genuinely loved all of it, but I guess I'll just say, I gotta say Jonathan Frakes, probably his best performance of the series thus far. I mean, he nailed what they needed him to do as Riker in this episode, from you know eating all of the Klingon food in 10 forward to everything he did on the Klingon ship. That was awesome. Yeah, uh, just I love the whole Riker thing. Like, he's he's obviously like, he wants to be captain, right? He, he like he's working up his way, and I love that whole gung ho. Like I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Like I'm gonna go aboard a Klingon vessel. I'm gonna eat all this shitty ass food. I'm gonna beat up a Klingon. Like I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do it. And why do you want to do it? Because no one's done it before. I love that like early stage esque Kirk 
type, you know, you can tell he's going to be a captain one day, but he's in that early stage. And like, yeah, Jonathan Frakes just knocked out of the park. And the stuff with Menden too, a good B story. It didn't, I mean, it connected, ended up connecting to the main story, but it didn't have to be, he had evil intentions or he was a spy of some kind. He just was a side character that had his own motivations, his own characterization, nice moments with Worf, Picard, uh, Wesley, you know, all on the Enterprise. So, you know, another good example of the A story and B story working pretty well in harmony, I think. Yeah, and having a juxtaposition of having Menden doing things by his original way and then... Riker being like full gung ho, I'm gonna adjust to where I'm at. Like, I'm not gonna do things my way. I'm gonna respect their culture. So. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I can't get enough of Klingons and TNG. I hope we get a lot more of them. Um, and maybe eventually we see some Klingons and Romulans actually intermixing because they keep talking about how much they hate Romulans. That's really interesting to me. So maybe as a pipe dream, you know, that's what I'll, I'll like to see eventually. Yeah, maybe one day we might have Mark Leonard face off with Mark Leonard. <laughs> 